I'm your baby. There's nothing you wouldn't do to protect me and keep me safe. You help me when I'm awake by feeding me, changing my diaper, bathing me, and in countless other ways. I also need your help when I sleep. Every year, thousands of babies die in their sleep from suffocation, asphyxia, entrapment, and sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. SIDS generally affects infants under the age of 12 months, with the most dangerous period being from one to four months old. Although the cause of SIDS is not completely understood, research has shown that you can greatly reduce your infant's risk of SIDS and other sleep-related deaths by following these simple steps. Place babies on their back every time they go to sleep. This is one of the easiest and most effective ways to reduce SIDS. Infants sleeping on their back are over 50% less likely to die of SIDS. Side and stomach sleeping are unsafe. However, if your baby is developmentally able to roll onto his tummy on his own while sleeping, it is not necessary to reposition him. It is also important to give your baby plenty of supervised awake tummy time during the day to help strengthen neck and arm muscles. Use a crib, portable crib, or play yard style crib that meets current CPSC and ASTM international standards. Do not use a crib with drop side rails, damaged, missing, or loose screws, parts, or slats. If you choose to use a bassinet, be sure that it is JPMA certified and that you follow age, size, and weight recommendations. Generally, bassinets are only used for up to five months of age and should not be used if your baby can roll over or push up on his hands and knees. Visit cpsc.gov for current and additional safety standards. Also, mail in your registration card or register online to be notified of any recalls, defects, or problems with your crib or bassinet. Use a firm mattress with a tight-fitting crib sheet. The mattress should fit snugly into the crib with no gaps or spaces between the mattress and the crib on any side. Infant swings, car seats, strollers, and infant carriers should not be used for routine sleep. Do not put any other items into your baby's sleep space. Soft, fluffy, or loose items such as blankets, bumper pads, pillows, toys, or sleep positioners can potentially cause strangulation, suffocation, or entrapment. Have your baby sleep nearby, but not in your bed. Babies who sleep in the same room as their caregiver have a much lower rate of SIDS. This may be due to the caregiver's elevated ability to recognize movement, distress, and noises that can alert them of a dangerous situation. However, sharing a bed with your infant is very dangerous, as your baby can get trapped, rolled on, or suffocate from the soft bedding. Instead, consider placing your bassinet or crib next to your bed for easy access. You can bring your infant into your bed for nursing or comforting, but always return him to his crib before you return to sleep. However, never bring your infant into your bed if you are excessively drowsy or have used medications or substances that decrease alertness. Do not fall asleep with an infant on a couch or armchair and never allow other children to share a bed with your infant. Place your crib away from windows, curtains, and mini blinds to reduce the risk of falls and strangulation. Do not hang large or heavy pictures above the crib. Move or secure cords, lamps, baby monitors, and other items that your infant could reach from the crib. Avoid overheating your baby. In general, dress your baby in only one additional thin layer of clothing than you would normally sleep in. For example, a onesie under a pair of pajamas should be sufficient. Do not use clothing that could cover your infant's face or head. Do not put any blankets in the crib and keep the room at a comfortable temperature. It is recommended to breastfeed your baby for at least the first six months to increase your baby's health. Studies have shown that breastfeeding not only can help reduce your baby's risk of SIDS, but also has many other major health benefits for both the mother and baby. Pacifier use at naptime and bedtime may reduce the risk of SIDS according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. However, do not force your baby to take a pacifier 
and there is no need to reinsert a pacifier after your baby has fallen asleep. Remember that pacifiers need to be replaced if they show any sign of deterioration, such as cracks, discoloration, holes, tears, or weak spots. Keep pacifiers clean and do not coat them with any substances. Also, avoid attaching strings or cords to the pacifier. For breastfed infants, it may be helpful to delay pacifier introduction for the first few weeks of life until proper latch and healthy milk supply have been established. No one should smoke around your baby, and especially not in the same room where your baby sleeps. If you are pregnant and smoking, stop. Maternal smoking during pregnancy and smoke in the infant's environment after birth have both emerged as major risk factors for SIDS. Additionally, alcohol and illicit drug use during pregnancy and after birth should be avoided. Do not rely on commercial devices marketed to reduce the risk of SIDS. These products have not been proven to be protective against SIDS. Receive regular prenatal and well-child checkups for you and your baby. And last of all, make sure that anyone caring for your baby knows and follows these guidelines. <sighs> I'm finally asleep. Now you get to rest. And you can rest assured that you put me to sleep safely.